The festive season is coming, and you must be looking for some inspiration to serve your guests at the dining table. Hello, today it's my first time making butter herb gnocchi. Come along and we'll pick up some tips and discoveries along the way. Before we begin, remember to like and subscribe. I'll be using 4 potatoes for a 3 person portion. Keep the skin on as we'll be baking them later. I'm just trimming some of the parts where they have sprouted and wrapping them in aluminum foil, then tossing them into the air fryer. Now let's prepare some of the ingredients for the butter herb gnocchi. I'm chopping some of the parsley, garlic as well as onion to be combined later with butter for the sauce. A quick tip on how to peel garlic efficiently. You can smash it with the back of your cleaver, then gently tug at the skin and it should fall out easily. minutes in, I'm checking the doneness of the potatoes with a fork and it seems like it isn't fully softened yet so I'm going to do it for another 15 minutes before removing it from the air fryer. You can constantly check and adjust accordingly. Based on the various gnocchi videos I've watched, they use the baking method to cook the potatoes as this would reduce the water level in the potatoes and make the gnocchi more light and fluffy. I tried to peel the potatoes with my bare hands but it was really too hot so I decided to do it under running water. Before giving it a little pat with the kitchen towel. Now we need to mash the potatoes and the recommended method is to actually shred it such that it becomes lighter. I tried using a cheese grater but it wasn't that thorough so I changed up to another kitchen appliance to smash it. Now look at it come out of the appliance in a very gross manner. Ew. Let's get to the dough making. Beat up an egg and add it to the potato mixture before dusting the flour and folding it in bit by bit. This entire process took 40 minutes and halfway through I was questioning why I started doing this. But hang in there, it will form a dough eventually. So you have to be really gentle with the dough and minimize the amount of flour that you're using, just enough such that it's slightly sticky to keep it light and fluffy. A tip I learned was to constantly flour the surface of the board such that the dough would not keep sticking to it and it will be easier to fold it in. Roll the dough out such that it's of even thickness and there we have it, the dough! Cover the plate with some flour to prevent the gnocchi from sticking and cut the dough into even pieces before tearing them into smaller bits and rolling them into balls. So there's a type of gnocchi where they have a dent in the middle of the ball to capture and retain the sauce better. I tried to do this at one shot after I rolled a few gnocchis but eventually I decided to just roll the rest into balls since that was much easier and I was really getting tired at this juncture. Just keep rolling! 
Boil the gnocchi in salted water and it should rise to the top when ready. Melt a quarter to half block of butter in a heated pan to create browned butter. Be careful to keep stirring such that it doesn't burn. When the butter has browned, you can add in the chopped parsley. Usually they use sage for the gnocchi, but I do not have that, so I'm using parsley in place. Also add in the chopped aromatics and stir well. I'm adding some mozzarella cheese to add some depth to the flavour before sprinkling some dry Italian herbs and adding the gnocchi to the pot. Feel free to add some of the pasta water such that the pasta does not get too dry. Season accordingly, you can add some ground pepper, more Italian herbs as well as salt if needed. Then add a dash of cooking cream to complete the dish. There you have it! Sprinkle some parmesan cheese over the gnocchi and serve hot. A quick tip to minimize the cleanup required, you can put a cling wrap over the wooden board such that you don't have to scrub the board too hard when you're done.